All right. I think we, we're good to go. Okay. Do a quick introduction. Welcome, everybody. This is Paul Akers Live. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody, 20 minutes of Paul Akers with 20 minutes of Q&A. I love this guy. He loves me. That's all that matters. He's a great yeah. freak. Yeah, love to have him around with two-second lead. And today he's going to talk about, I don't like your idea. I don't like your idea. Now, what that means, I have no idea yet, but he's going to share with us. Paul, off to you, my friend. All right. Well, thanks, George, and I appreciate being on the show. So here's one of the important things, and George, I think that's not the first slide. We want the first, there we go. Very good. So again, big picture, the purpose of these webinars is lean in the real world. This is how I apply lean. It is not a theoretical discussion. It's actually what we do every day at FastCap, a manufacturing and product development company, how we apply lean. Now, I get calls from people all over the world every day and emails saying, Paul, what about this situation? So last week I've got an email from someone and the, basically the question was, I got thousands of employees, multiple shifts, people using the same work cells. How do we make improvements? You say, just fix what bugs you. How do we make these improvements? And the guy, the next person that's doing the work says, I don't like your improvement. How do we do that? How do we manage that? And the truth of the matter is it's very simple because remember, my whole criteria is lean is simple. If you make it complicated, you're going you're gonna to fail. But if you keep it simple, you're going to succeed. So how do you deal with the fact that one guy says, I don't like your idea, and another person says, I do like your idea? It's so simple, it's unbelievable. Now, there are a lot of bad ideas out there. There's no doubt about it. And I have a lot of bad ideas. But we measure it very simply. So let me show you an example of a bad idea. So there we go. It's a bad idea to dress up in a zebra suit and go to Africa because something fatal could happen to you. I mean, this is not a good idea. I'll give you another example of another bad idea. It is not a good idea to take a sample, a stool sample from an elephant like this. I mean, inevitably, there's got to be a better way, right? There has to be a better way to go to Africa, and there has to be a better way to take a stool sample. So how do we identify, how do we measure what is a good idea and what's not? And it's so simple. It's four things. That's it. We're going to cut right to the chase right now. Every idea should have these ID, these four qual, these four qualifications as the way you uh, litmus test a, the, a good idea. So number one is safety. So there's a hierarchy of ideas. The first thing is safety. You never can make an improvement to anything if it impairs safety. If it keeps the safety level at the same, it's okay. But if it impairs safety or makes things so people can get injured more, you're not going to do the idea, regardless of whether or not it increases the quality, simplicity, or speed. Safety trumps everything. Then the second level is quality. Okay, so you're never going to make an improvement to anything if it's simpler, but it actually diminishes quality. Quality is at the highest level. First safety, then quality. So when someone makes an idea, an improvement, you ask themselves, it didn't improve the quality. So let's take the elephant stool sample. Is that a safer way to take an elephant stool sample? Absolutely not. Something disastrous could happen, right? Is it, are you going to get a better quality product that way? I seriously doubt it, right? Is it a simpler way? No, it's not a simpler way to take a stool sample. And is it faster? Hell no, it's not faster. Just let the animal do its thing and, and go pick up a stool sample and, and measure the quality of their feet, whatever it takes. But I'm, I'm trying to make it funny so you can't ever forget it, okay? So these are the criteria. So now we're going to take a look at an improvement that we made at our company. So you guys remember this slide from my first presentation on how to build a lean culture. So this is a typical airline ticket, okay? And it, it, it's very convoluted. There, there's nothing friendly about this ticket. Now let's look at the way FastCap improved the airline ticket. Now we're going to look at this, and we're going to measure – all this, this improvement by all four of those criteria. Notice how we're only into this webinar for just a couple minutes, five minutes, and we're already into the meat of it already. So now let's ask ourselves a question. The first criteria is safety. Is this ticket safer than the old ticket? And most people would say, well, it doesn't have anything to do with safety. Well, frankly, I would agree with you. It has nothing to do with safety. But you can make an argument that there's going to be less heart attack because people aren't going to be missing their flight. So in reality, it is a safer way because it's much easier to discern and get the information you need so you're on time, you don't miss your flight. 
So in a, in a comical way, it's safer because there's going to be less heart attack. But in reality, it's really not a safety issue. So it's neutral. It doesn't apply. Now let's go to the quality. So you're an airline passenger. We're not going to go to that one yet, George. We'll stay back on this one. So now as a passenger on a plane, are you having a better quality experience at the airline and in the hands of the airlines with this ticket as opposed to the other ticket? And the answer is absolutely you're having a better quality experience because you're not stressed out. You have the information you need. It's very clear, and it's almost impossible to make a mistake with this airline ticket. So we definitely met the criteria of increasing, uh, improving the quality of the experience on the airline, right? Now the next one is simplicity. Is this a simpler ticket than the first ticket? And the answer is a simpler, it's like a thousand times simpler, right? So we definitely met the criteria of simplicity. Now it doesn't have to have a, a better quality experience, it could just be simpler and that would be qualified as an improvement. But it can't be more complicated, right? And, or, or, you're, or excuse me, you, it can't be more complicated and increase the quality. You basically have to make sure you keep the, the criteria in order. So quality trumps everything. If I didn't say that uh, correctly, I'm going to say that safety trumps everything, then quality, then simplicity. But we've got the simplicity thing here, no problem. And then the last thing, is it faster to get the information? Well, the answer is absolutely. Everybody wins in it. We have to have less uh, monitors on the screen because people don't have to know how to get the information because they've got it all here. The people uh, don't have to explain the ticket to people. Oh, well, honey, you're at gate number 52, and that's really taking off at 315. You don't have to know any of that information because it's so self-explanatory. So it simplified the entire process of going to the airport. So we teach our people every day these are the four criteria. As a matter of fact, we have Ron Pereira here filming our company, and he went around to different work cells where people were working. And without me saying anything, they said, well, it's very simple how we measure these improvements. We just simply say safety, quality, simplicity, and then speed. Most people would think speed is the most important thing. It is not. It is the least. It's the lowest on the totem pole. You think that lean is all about faster, 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 more productivity. It's not. It's about safety, then quality, then simplicity, and then speed. So this is how we measure it. We teach our people this, then all of a sudden, all the arguments go away. All the people say, well, that's my idea, and this is your idea. All we have to do is say, Bill, Mary, ask, answer the question. Is there a safety issue? No, there's no safety issue with my improvement. Okay, so you, you meet the first criteria. Bill, Mary, did you improve the quality? Well, actually, we didn't improve the quality. It's the same quality. Okay, no problem. Did you make it simpler? Uh, well, not really, actually. There's a lot more steps involved the way I'm doing it. It's really not simpler. Well, then, Bill and Mary, gosh, I don't know if, if, if we're really going to do that because you didn't. If you would have added more steps and improved the quality and safety, we could have tolerated it. But you didn't improve the quality or the safety, and you made it more complicated, right? So we're not really going to go that direction. And is it faster? Well, uh, you know, it's a little bit faster, but you made it way more complicated. We've got to find another way. So when we have these four criteria that we're constantly measuring everything by, it eliminates all the, the pride that everybody has and say, oh, well, that's my idea, this is my way. But you have to teach these principles rigorously every day in our morning meeting. Everyone knows the four criteria for making an improvement. And the result is you have a collaborative community of people that work together because the pride has been removed. But you have to teach these these. Uh, qualifiers. So now we're going to look at three improvements that have been sent to me recently on different companies that we've taught this principle to, and we're going to analyze those and look at whether or not they have met the criteria.